Hi, I'm Shannon Burford, Cura Integrative Medicine. Today we're gonna to talk about sick building syndrome, or is your house making you sick? So let's get into it. So what is sick building syndrome? Sick building syndrome is where the environment is making you or family members sick, and it, the environment that you're living in is having the impact through poor air quality or hidden toxins or allergens in your air from your dust or chemicals inside your house. So it can cause things like headaches, respiratory illness, or other health problems like skin rashes or even OCD. So understanding these potential hazards is really the first step. And it's gonna be the proactive step to get you forward into recovery and preventing these symptoms. So first of all, let's talk about what type of toxins there could be in the house. So the first one and very common is from mold. And this is mold illness from mycotoxins. And mycotoxins is an illness which is coming from the toxins inside the mold. Now obviously there are different types of molds, black molds or string molds or moist molds growing in different mediums. And the most deadly is the black mold. And then they release the toxins and they cause the symptoms on your nervous system. So thinking about something like Botox, Botox comes from, it's not a mold, but it comes from botulum. And the botulum toxin is what causes the symptoms on the nervous system. So that's used in medicine, but all living things like molds have mycotoxins or in molds or bacteria toxins and they're causing damage to our nervous system in different ways, or our gut, or our brain, brain fog, etc. Now, the other type of sick building syndrome illness can come from volatile organic compounds, VOCs. And these are a broad umbrella term to describe toxins and off-gassing from things with glues in it, like furniture, or, or carpets or new things or hair sprays or other environmental chemicals which we may sp spray like pesticides and things like that but the most common is carpets or glues from furniture or paints of course now these are these two environmental toxins which are the the most common causing sick building syndrome they come into our body and then the next step is how do we get rid of them? And the reason why people are getting the symptoms is because you're getting overloaded with the toxins and your normal channels of elimination is not clearing them out effectively. So what's the solution? Well, first step is we need to know what we're dealing with. So we need to do some functional medicine testing and identify are they really mold toxins or are they something else perhaps it's your diet that's causing the issue or maybe it's uh, heavy metals in the water for example so we want to do some detailed testing to find out actually what we're dealing with then once we know what we're dealing with then we can detox it but overall with a very basic foundation so you may not have access to these tests or you may not have access to proper ways of detoxing there is something you can do and that's to start eating as clean as you can and also to increase your antioxidant intake and this is the simplest way through diet it's not a very um, super effective way to thoroughly do it but it's definitely a good start and it gets the ball rolling to chelate those toxins and bring them out of your body so food is medicine things like raw garlic, high antioxidant foods like the superfoods, berries, asahi berry, green powders like chlorella, wheatgrass are great starts. And then nutritionally, we also want to have the optimal nutrition to support our liver function and our kidney function. And we can also look at herbs to support those too. So some herbs like St. Mary's thistle is the classic for 
liver function, St. Mary's thistle, globe artichoke, schisandra, and then kidney herbs as well, platori of the, the wall, um, clivers, or, um, or nettle, nettle seed, for example. So that's my summary of sick building syndrome. And if you think you may be struggling with that or you need help, get in touch and let's do some functional testing and get rid of those toxins. And please remember to like and subscribe to this video to see future videos. And thanks for listening. Have a great day.